Escaping the grind of everyday life is always a positive, especially when it comes in the form of a vacation. Leaving reality behind and jetting off to paradise is the best of the best in many respects. However, returning home to find bed bugs in your luggage can be the harshest of wake up calls. In this video, we will present you the various ways that bed bugs can live in your luggage, your clothing, closed luggage, those tiny crevices and pockets, the zippered areas in your luggage, and finally, we will offer you the best ways you can prevent all of this from happening and how to truly tell if you've brought bed bugs home from your vacation. Enjoy the video. We hope you find it helpful and informative. In a word, the answer, unfortunately, is yes. One of the primary ways bed bugs exist on luggage is courtesy of a bed bug infestation in your hotel room. What courtesy, right? Once you arrive at your destination and place your luggage in your room, your belongings can be under siege if the hotel room has a bed bug infestation. As it relates to specifics, bed bugs can hitch a ride on your luggage via cracks and crevices, especially pockets and gaps. The design of certain luggage material can actually work against you. Placement and smell can also be your enemy. If you place your luggage near your bed, your clothes have a scent. Your scent. This will only serve to entice bed bugs to check out your belongings. It is through these gateways that bed bugs latch onto your luggage and make the trip home with you. Once you arrive home, they'll jump off and look for a new place to hide. Once eggs are laid, the hotel room boarding pass becomes a personal infestation at your residence. Similar to luggage, bed bugs can live in the gaps, cracks, folds, and dark places of clothing. A pocket can serve as ground zero. Most material is also ideal for laying eggs. While bed bugs will live in clothing when they're hungry and have an opportunity to be close to you in an effort to feed, most bed bugs only reside in discarded items, piles of clothing being a prime example. The frequent changing and casual discarding of clothing during a vacation setting can lend itself to an increased presence of bed bugs. Although bed bugs are not capable of burrowing, they can hitch a ride on the exterior levels of your luggage. As noted a bit earlier, pockets, crevices, and various folds of luggage design can actually work against you. While bed bugs will not be able to enter closed luggage, there are ample areas for these bugs to dwell during your travels. So, how can you fend off bed bugs and protect your property? Let's explore several critical steps that will allow you to safeguard your luggage and keep your belongings free of bed bugs during your travels. Number one, bed bug proof luggage covers. While most, keyword being most, luggage covers will not seal off every area of your belongings, they can be of great service in most cases. Thick plastic covers that are capable of shielding all of your belongings are ideal. Bed bugs are not able to penetrate plastic, so the larger coverage area, the better. As a helpful tip, be sure to check the surface area of the cover for wrinkles and crevices. The smoother the surface, the better chance you'll have of protecting your belongings. Number two, bed bug luggage spray repellent. Repellent, while not always the best option in your home, is perfect for luggage. The goal is quite simple, get them off and keep them off. Spray your luggage with a proven repellent such as synthetic pesticide. This will discourage bed bugs from hanging around and attempting to hide in your belongings. Courtesy of its lingering scent, a synthetic pesticide will likely be strong enough to shield bed bugs for the duration of your vacation. Number three, check for bed bugs when you arrive. While it could be a measure of stating the obvious, it's important to be as proactive as possible. This involves checking your hotel room upon arrival. Look under the mattress, check furniture near the bed, check between the headboard and the wall, and explore any gaps between the wall and the floor. Although the last thing you want to do during your vacation is play the role of part detective and part exterminator, this is a wise move as it could save you a lot of grief in the long run. Bed bugs will have a tough time latching onto your belongings if you spot a problem in your hotel room 
right off the bat. Changing rooms, especially if an issue has been spotted, can change the entire outcome of your vacation for the better. Number four, keep your luggage off the floor. One of the best ways to keep bed bugs away from your luggage is by keeping your luggage elevated. If you have sealed your luggage for the trip, once you open it for the first time, keep it elevated. Simply placing your belongings on a table can save you a world of trouble. Why does elevation work? Bed bugs live near the floor and bed bugs hate sunlight. These are just two several pros to the situation. As an extra tip, avoid placing open luggage on the bed at any point. Keep it elevated, but never rest your suitcase on the bed itself. Number five, keep your luggage zippered. Never keep your luggage open. Once you've elevated your belongings and opened your luggage, make it a priority to close it. Not closing your luggage is where some people get trapped. Why? It's easy to simply open your luggage and keep it open until you leave. Easy accessibility is what we all want. Unfortunately, that's also what bed bugs want. By closing your luggage, you keep bed bugs from sniffing your belongings. Once you finish with your suitcase, close it and place it in its protective covering if possible. Step six, bag those dirty clothes. Arguably one of the most important tips involves bagging up your worn clothing. Because bed bugs are attracted to worn fabrics, it's important to place those items in a separate and sealed bag. Even if your items are free of sweat, they will still carry your scent. Win the day by being proactive and place your worn belongings in their very own enclosure. Step seven is the final check. The final course of action involves checking your luggage before you leave. In the same way, it's wise to check your hotel room when you arrive. Be just as diligent when it comes to your luggage when you depart. Check inside and out. Leave no stone unturned. While there's no surefire way to tell if you actually brought bed bugs home with you from your vacation, you can do several checks once you arrive home. This is where some detective work can come into play. While a few of these efforts could be overkill or even come off as a sign of paranoia in certain circles, if you are concerned that bed bugs have indeed hitched a ride on your luggage and entered your home, there are a few things you can do as a means to check. Number one, bed bug interceptors traps for a better and more simplistic term. You can place these at the foot of your bed. Common bed bugs can be trapped in these devices rather effectively. If bed bugs have indeed invaded your luggage, they will attempt to find a new home within your home. Placing traps near your bed will let you know if you have a potential problem on your hands. While they do serve a purpose, their primary function in this case is to alert you of a developing situation so you can take immediate action. Please Google bed bug interceptors for more information. Number two, diatomaceous earth. The use of diatomaceous earth is another good way to tell if you've brought bed bugs home with you. A fine white powder made from rock, diatomaceous earth can work in two distinct ways. Number one, it scratches or removes a bed bug's outer waxy layer. This will cause the bug to dry out quickly, thus allowing you to get a full picture of your unwanted guest. Number two, track marks. Similar to walking through flour in your kitchen, diatomaceous earth will tell on a bed bug. If a bug walks through it, you'll be able to see tiny marks and some of the product spread around. Think of this as a trap without the trap. Number three, bed bug glue traps. Similar to bed bug interceptors, glue traps are also quite effective. These devices are often used by professional exterminators. Glue traps are small sticky rings that you can place around your bed. Given that glue is in the name, you can likely guess how this product works. Bed bugs walk over it and they get stuck. Although this can be hit and miss, if your primary objective is to see if bed bugs have made the trip home on your luggage, capturing a few will likely provide your answer. Once you arrive home from your vacation, it's important to wash all of your clothing as soon as possible, even items that you did not wear. Washing and drying your clothes is critical, as this will snuff out any bugs that could be on your belongings. Another tip is to spray your suitcase. Killing bugs on contact is the goal. Even if you're in the clear and no bugs came home with you, you can't assume as much. 
The baseline takeaway is action. Being proactive is the key. And on that note, that will wrap things up for this video guide. We hope you found the information both helpful and rather easy to understand and digest. If you enjoyed this content and would love to see more of a similar nature, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching us directly from bedbugsinsider.com or from our YouTube platform, we encourage you to hit that subscribe button and join the fun. We produce fresh content on a regular basis. Question time. Have you recently returned home from a vacation with a few unwanted guests? If bed bugs made the trip home, what have you done to resolve the issue? Were you able to tackle the situation using information noted in this video? Or did you simply seek professional care immediately? What about protective measures? Or have you simply never encountered bed bugs during a vacation? If so, what's your secret? Have you simply had good luck and good fortune in the hotel department? or have protective measures saved you some grief along the way? Please share your story in the comments section below. Any and everything you have to say about this topic is important, as what you have to offer could help others. We always preach strength in numbers, so please share your story and help grow the community. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day.